hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a simple church flyer for beginners without any further ado let's get started and in this tutorial i'm going to use a5 paper size all right so here i'm going to bring in my guideline so while you are watching then you will get to know why i'm going to position this guideline and the use of it so the first thing i'm going to my resource file and import this image over here reduce the size bring it down then apply your layer mask select your brush while you blend the top and the bottom so just what you are seeing then go back to your resource file why i'm going to import all those so this image over here then you flip it horizontal increase the size now i'm going to drag it back towards the exposition then select your layer mask and blend over here the top and the bottom so this is what you will have so you can see the reason why i position the guideline now so this is why i position the guideline so that the two image i'm going to bring will be at the center so then what i did is to apply my blending mode so then the blending mode i use here is soft light that is for the first image and the second image is normal then you drag this one down okay then change the bloody mode to soft light then go to your Gaussian blur then apply a blur of 8.4 then click OK Then you blend it all right as you have done with this one so go back to your resource file and i'm going to bring this image here take it up increase the size Then I will position it this way, increase the size, then go to your blending mode and change it to soft light, reduce the opacity to 25, then you will have something like this. Then blend it. All right, go back to your resource file again, and I'm going to bring this image over here. Then increase the size, scale it out. Then you position it somewhere around here. Then change the blending mode to multiply. Apply your layer mask while you blend the top and the bottom. Then 
then you will have something like this then go back to your resource file and bring this brush then you scale it out I will leave it like this. Okay. Now go back to your resource file and I'm going to bring this light over here. Then change the blade mode to screen. Then position it over here. Apply your layer mask, select your blending tool and blend around the end. Okay. So after that now, what you are going to do now is to import this logo and start to bring our text. Then copy your text, select your text tool. Then I'm going to change the font to Acrobat, then make it bold, click OK. Now Ctrl plus V to paste. Then take your test and position it somewhere around here. So right. So what I did is to increase that image. Then scale it out. So that is the city you are seeing. Then adjust this one. All right. Now I'm going to the team now. I'm going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then this is the test effect I'm going to use double click to open the smart object then I'm going to paste but before then I'll cancel it then turn this one off then increase the font size then you paste it apply black color Then also copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Break it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then apply spacing. Okay, then increase the font size. Then I'm going to change the font. I'm going to use the font Eras Bold. Then 
then reduce the font size apply spacing reduce the space a little all right then close it the tab then yes to save it then go to the background and turn it off then hold your Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt key and you press E to create a layer for the test now move it to your designing area reduce the test something like this it's okay if you want you can reduce it more or you increase it and position it to the area you want to position it I'm going to leave it here then I'm going to group the test so if you want this test effect, then you can go to free pick. Then you download any of the tests in fact you want. So we are going to place this image, the host and the speaker. Also apply a layer mask to the second one and blend it. So it's okay. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle. Then go and copy this hands code. Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm going to draw another rent angle. Then change the color to this yellow color. Reduce the size. Select your test tool. Then go back to your test and copy your the host. Then change the font. I'm going to make use of Halima regular. Change the font color to black and position it over here. Now you can reduce the rent angle. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then change the font to Acrobat, make it bold. Apply spacing. Centralize the test and position it around here. Apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Ensure that you hold your shift key while you select the test. Then I will group this one. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then drag this one over here to move.
then go back to your test and copy then control plus v to paste increase the rent angle then apply vertical alignment reduce the size a little then highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight ctrl plus c to copy ctrl plus v to paste then the last one is the location then import your location icon reduce the size then ctrl plus i or ctrl plus u then you drag this one to apply a white color you can also press you make use of ctrl plus i to invert the color to white Then apply vertical alignment to centralize the location. Reduce the size. Okay, so we are done with this one. Then we proceed. Then I'm going to copy my test for time and dates. Make it extra bold. Increase the font size. Now duplicate it. Come over to copy your test. Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the size. Something like this. It's okay. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to Halima. Then change the font color to yellow. Increase the size and position it at the top here. Then change the font to Acrobat. Right. then what I did is to duplicate it then I'm going to change this one to 20 then highlight the test go back to your test and I'm going to copy my test here Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size. All right. 
So group it. And I'm going to position it around here. Then go back to your test tool. Then copy your test over here. Control plus V to paste. Then change the font to Acrobat. Make it semi bold. And change the color to this yellow. Then drag it and position it around here. Align it with your test. Then go back to your test again and I'm going to copy this one, drag it over here, okay, then come over to copy your test again, Control plus V to paste. Then increase the size of the test. Then bring it over this place and align it together. So you can see that the both sides are equal with the other test. Then copy this one. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then I will take it up over here, then drag it down. Select it, Ctrl plus A to alight, then Ctrl plus B to paste. Then select, I'm going to select this one, then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then drag it over here. Then Ctrl plus A to alight it. Now I'm going to copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to increase the size of this one. All right, so it's aligned to the right of the other test. Then increase the size and reposition it. Then I'm going to apply a layer effect. So make it multiply and the opacity leave it at 100 so make use of this setting over here then you click ok so the last thing i'm going to do now is to create a cycle and change the color to red then select your test to and I'm going to type off, then change the font to Tuesday night. Position it at the middle of your cycle, increase the test size. Okay. Then Apply vertical and horizontal alignment to centralize the test and fit it into the cycle. Then apply your layer style. Then increase the distance to 3 and the size to 13. 
then OK. Hold your Shift key while you select it. Then reduce the size. Then I'm going to drag the two images into the group. All right, so we are done. So this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please kindly subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Please just subscribe to this channel while more videos are coming up. I really appreciate your following. Thank you so much. And don't forget to share this video if you like it. And remember to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Then if you want to create a Fiverr account or a TubeBuddy account, there is a link below in the description. So for you to create your own Fiverr or TubeBuddy account and optimize your video. Then, if you want to order or purchase any of my flyer, then go to my Faber account. Thank you so much.